Say you have a pitch for me. Yes, sir, I do. So we're gonna do a video about how men need to be more manly, but get this, it's gonna feature a woman. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Because if a woman says that men shouldn't be like women, it's gotta be true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who do you wanna cast? Ali Stuckey. And what's her deal? Uh, well, she's a white woman. Ooh, white women are tight. Also, we have to save the blacks for our race episodes. Uh, probably shouldn't say that. No, 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 it's cool. One of them has the last name Black. Okay. Okay, so, um, Ali is the host of the Relatable Podcast. Oh, what Relatable Podcast? No, 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 the podcast is named Relatable. Oh, is she relatable? Not really. Oh, really? Well, she can't do air quotes. Of toxic masculinity, right? But she scores high on the people who fantasize about Sarah Palin demographic. Is that an important demographic? Sure. Fair enough. So, how do we start this instructional video? Well, I was thinking we begin with Ali smirking about... Rape, murder, war. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really catches the audience off guard. Okay, um, not how I would personally start things, but, uh, if you only say it once, then... Oh no, she's gonna say it at the end, too. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 because you know how stories have a beginning, middle, and end? Uh-huh. Well, if you start and end a story with the same quote, it seems like you've proven something, regardless of what you say in the middle. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 it's a writer's trick. Get off my back. Fair enough. So, what happens next? Well, Allie is going to make a bunch of sweeping generalizations about masculinity based on absolutely no research, but it's cool because about halfway in, we're going to throw out a bunch of statistics. Oh good, we have to make sure we back up our- That in no way backs up our overall argument. Oh really? Now nah, we're mostly going to use data from fathers.com and just talk about how too many people don't have dads. Well, I'm not sure how that proves your point, but- You didn't let me finish! Okay. So we're gonna talk about how too many kids don't have dads, but then we're gonna show a quote from Obama talking about how too many kids don't have dads. That's brilliant. That way, it seems like we're making a moderate argument. Exactly. And then we're gonna say that kids can't play dodgeball anymore. On the playground, aggressive games like dodgeball have long been banished. Wait, kids can't play dodgeball anymore? I mean, I'm sure it's been banned at least once, so technically it's not lying. Fair enough. Also, we're gonna say that kids are being told not to try when competing. Have you been to a high school football game? No. Fair enough. So then we're gonna say... The answer to toxic masculinity isn't less masculinity. It's better masculinity. And we know what that looks like. Wow, powerful stuff. But will it be hard to find the perfect example of healthy masculinity? Actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 because obviously there's no better role model than Donald J. Trump, right? Well, obviously I know that, but I think we should maybe go with a less controversial rich white man. Dennis Prager? Too desperate. Glenn Beck? Too whiny. Roger Ailes? Too rapey. Chuck Norris? Too much sex appeal. Ted Cruz? Zero sex appeal. The Koch brothers? Nah, I hate twins. Wait, what? Actually, what if we just give a bunch of super vague examples of masculinity and not name anyone at all? Or what about Obama? <laughs> should, should the first black president with, with, with no scandals and, and an, inf, an infinite charisma happily married to an incredible woman. I mean, I mean, sh 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 I mean, come on! There was fist bump gate. Oh yeah, that was scary. Also, I, I liked your earlier idea of doing less work. Oh good, so what's next? Well then, we're gonna say. The growing problem in today's society isn't that men are too masculine. It's that they're not masculine enough. But didn't you just say that the solution was better masculinity? Um, maybe. But now you're saying the solution is more masculinity. Get off my back, please. Fair enough. So then Ali tells a secret that every woman knows. But how can it be a secret if every woman knows? That's like 
fifty percent of the population. Well, maybe you'd have a different point of view if you weren't so high up on my back. Okay. So the secret is that... Here's a secret that every woman knows. Women want real men. Wait, that's the secret? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's gonna say it profoundly. Oh, really? That works? Of course. How do you think I got this writing job? Fair enough. Then we're gonna say... Every woman I know wants a strong, responsible man. Aren't you just repeating what you said earlier about women wanting real men? Writing is hard. Writing is hard. So then we're gonna say... Passive men don't do the things we have always needed men to do for society to thrive. I can't tell if you're angry or hungry. Whoops, forgot where I worked for a moment. <laughs> Whoopsie. So we got, yep, definitely nothing wrong with saying we need men to do manly things for society to thrive. Right? Coolsies. So next we're going to show a quote by C.S. Lewis out of context. Ooh, out of context C.S. Lewis quotes are tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to call him an English social philosopher. But that would mean he's an expert of English social philosophy. Exactly. But he isn't. Exactly? Small details don't matter. Fair enough. So C.S. Lewis says, By his intellect, Lewis explains, man is mere spirit, and by his appetite, mere animal. Go on. That was it. Oh, really? Yeah, well, the point is we need both parts of man to protect us from... Rape, murder, war. Oh, that's so clever. You erroneously connected the C.S. Lewis quote to your introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you think? Oh, that's the end. Well, we try to keep our videos short to keep expectations of us actually saying anything worthwhile to a minimum. Cool trick. Well, you definitely did not come close to proving your central thesis, whatever that may have been. I'm not sure why you think that attributes like responsibility or hard work are in any way masculine traits. Also, you say that we should have more, not less masculinity, but you never actually define what masculinity is, nor explain anything beyond feminism is bad, masculinity is good, and too many kids are fatherless. Personally, I'd have to call this garbage at best and evil propaganda at worst. Okay. But this is Prager, a university literally by name only. So I doubt it matters. <laughs> Not like people would actually watch this crap or take Prager University seriously.